I love my DM. My DM always, always, always has a recurring gin in his campaigns. And for all of us older players, we knew when it was him. Very fun when messing with the new players. DM. The monster seems to have dropped a bronze piccolo, laden with several immaculate gems. The end of it seems to be giving off incense, and there is a symbol of Oladamra on it. Me. Ah uh, you ego genji fold cleric. God for king damn it nude root. Oh hey. This looks cool. I pick it up. Both me and cleric. You fucking retard. DM. The piccolo begins to play a whimsical tune. As the incense pours out of it, its fumes swirling like a meal storm before you hear a mighty voice. Guo is who woos brawak. Mortals of. Insert campaign setting. You suddenly see a terrifying jinn in the guise of an Arabian man wearing a turban with two gazelle antlers coming out of it. He is riding a giant tortoise wearing gold armor. Me. Sad face old cleric. Currently glaring daggers at DM Nudrood. Oh are my roll for sense motive. Druid rolls in 1d20. Lands an 11. DM. The jinn seems to be highly enthusiastic. Much like a bartering salesman, I am the great marker Thaka Higa, and I am here to grant you a single item of your choice. But behold, it will bear the mark of marker Thaka Higa. Do you still accept? Me. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Cleric. Seriously. Don't. I beg of you. Druid. I decline. Marker Thaka Higa. Are you quite sure, my fortunate friend? I can give you any item in the world. I can give you a staff to bend the world's trees to your will. I can give you a ring to woo any woman. I can give you anything you wish. And then the druid does something none of us expected. Druid. I want your turtle. Me. Cleric. DM um right um akathaka hi. My turtle. Are you sure? Mortal. I can give you anything you want. And all you request is for my tortoise. Druid. I do not trust beings not of this realm, so I will politely accept your request and accept the gift of what you have offered, which was anything I wanted, and I want your tortoise. Mark a thaka hi. Very well, mortal. You shall have my noble steed, and may he carry you into many victorious battles. But be warned, he is immortal, and upon your death, he shall ascend the stairs of light and come back to me. Do you accept? Druid, I do. What is your steed's name? Markathaka Hihai. His name is La Porcel. Take him now, for I must be leaving this plane. Druid accepts the turtle. Entire party is wary, but the tortoise is actually quite normal, except it can run as fast as a horse. The DM gave it a siege breaker attribute to make it unique, as well as immortality. I shall tell you what happened in the Battle of Shura City The Battle of Shura City. A desert prince's kingdom has come under siege by a slew of demons, who have effectively turned the entire city into a hellhole consisted of grotesque rape, torture, pillaging, and dismemberment. The Shuraian citadel was the fortress of the city, and the king was executed, only to be replaced by his possessed son, who is now so far gone the only thing left to do is slaughter him. Our characters were around level 10, so it was a rather difficult campaign to find out all the information about the city, as well as explain why the druid is riding a holy tortoise. Then the GM does the most dastardly thing ever. The tortoise's eyes begin to glow with a golden light, and a holy, zealous aura begins to affect the entire party. The druid, holding on for his life, is being charged towards the front gate of the citadel, with the entire party in tow while chasing this fucking tortoise. The tortoise does not show any signs of stopping, and it's ignoring all attempts for the druid to talk to it. A sense motive check shows that the tortoise knows what needs to be done. The druid clamps down onto the turtle, as it retracts its head and full on charges the citadel's gates. It's somehow deflecting all the arrows and magic spells being chucked at it. Druid wasn't so luck. Six arrows in the shoulder, and a scorch on his back. The gate shatters into a million pieces, shrapneling every soldier behind it. This tortoise is flying through the entire castle, before appearing in the throne room, only being stopped by three lesser demon fights. The prince was possessed by a demonic rabbit, 
the demonic jack rabbit Persian prince who shall hereby be known by the name Karjay of the Rapid Sword. Our party prepares for battle, with the holy tortoise boosting our party's stats, as well as giving us purity of the divine shell, which prevents any chance of the demon using influential abilities in combat. The battle starts. The druid begins casting wild shape, taking the form of a raven, which he then flies to the top of the room in order to prepare for more spell casting. I was a rogue, and I couldn't do much except prepare some poisons and whatnot until the warrior and cleric could draw its attention away. Warrior bum rushed, and got his ass handed to him with a mighty backhand into a pillar. 1d20 damage, took him almost completely out of the fight. Cleric uses holy word, which blinds and deafens KJ, and which I finally use a combat initiative to sneak up on him to attempt to just repeatedly stab him in the back for as many crits as I could. Got tail clubbed. KJ is completely ignoring the party, only focusing on this turtle. KJ, you, why have you returned, you foul monstrosity? You have lost that challenge from so long ago, so why have you come back? Begone, foul beast of a jinn, for this realm is under my control. Holy tortoise stands there resolutely, pick related, just staring at KJ with disapproving, beady black eyes. A leaf of lettuce is sticking out of its mouth, which it casually chews. Entire party is still battering on this demon, which it only pays mild attention to us, focusing on only badgering this poor turtle. KJ brings his scimitar down onto the turtle which simply rolls off its shell and cleaves into the ground. Holy tortoise's eyes light up, as the entire turtle begins to glow with a holy, white, pulsating light. KJ seems to panic, and slams the scimitar more and more into the turtle. A chip forms in its armor. Party status. Warrior recovering. Druid clawing at KJ's face. Cleric healing warrior. Me actually on its back, stabbing at its neck. Dealing a bit more damage than normal. Still not enough, as it brushes me off with a sweep of its hand. Holy Tortoise casts Time Stop. Holy Tortoise suddenly appears over KJ, dispels Time Stop, and slams onto his head. KJ retaliates with a rudimentary swipe at the turtle's head. Turtle is as turtle does, retracts head, and is sent ricocheting all over the room, until it slams once more into KJ's stomach. KJ is sent reeling backwards, slamming into the wall as the ceiling starts dropping rocks down onto all of us. We roll for a dodge save. Druid fails. With a 1d20 roll of 2, Druid is impaled by a falling rock. Holy Tortoise emanates power before the entire room explodes, sending the room into a different plane of nothing but rainbow colored lights. KJ. Party. Dying Druid goes WTF. Turtle seems to walk away, before Marka Thaka here appears, holding a massive golden spear. MTH, mounts the turtle, and lances KJ with the spear, directly in the middle of the chest. Marka Thaka Hihai, and thus the turtle won the game, as usual. Can you please stop messing with mortal lives KJ? This is the sixth time this millennia we have slain you. KJ dies in a massive fiery explosion, sending everyone flying out of the city, somehow surviving the brutal landing, impaled druid spears next to us. Marka Thaka Hihai. As I have said, my steed shall return upon your death. May you have a wonderful afterlife, druid, for you have saved the city with your foolish wish. Druid stays dead. Turned out the DM and him got into a fight a few weeks ago and the DM never got rid of a grudge. Not really a cursed item so much as a dick DM story. So I hear you guys are into thick big titty wafers. Well we got you covered at nickbedlier.co.uk. One stop shop for Kumja models. However we do sell a lot more than just smart models we got everything for running any fantasy settings and even some not grim dark science fiction models. In fact we even have some anime inspired models and video game. But if models is not your thing we also have some role playing adventures and dnd 5e meme subclasses. Also every video we will be giving away all our homebrew content to a subscriber of the channel. All you got to do to be in with a chance is subscribe. Today's winner is this guy. Well done.
Claim your prize by contacting us via email at nickbeardiercontact at gmail.com.